I'm like, are you the kind of person who just get up in front of a stage and wing it and it's going to come out great? Or are you the kind of person who you need to like prepare and really think it through? And There's this personality test, and there's several out there. The one that they're really big on is the Colby Index. Yeah, taking that one. K-O-L-B-E. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the lady that created it, I believe that her grandfather or a relative is the one that created the IQ test. Just kind of oh, really? an example. Hmm. So a little fun fact for you. Yeah. So the Colby base is a personality test. You get four numbers and all it shares with you is like, you might already know this, but like it just basically shows like, this is how you are wired. Mm -hmm. Like this is just who you are. And I'm probably gonna forget all four quadrants, but it's either quick start, research, systems builder, and also follow through, meaning that you get stuff done. Mm -hmm. So when I took this person personality test, the Colby index, it already, it's like, it basically just validated. I love new ideas. So I'm a high quick start. I get a bunch of like, I suffer from shiny object syndrome. Ooh, new idea. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I also am a high researcher. So I just want to know, and this, this is actually paid off well as a financial planner, because when a client would come in or a prospect would come in, like I would want to know everything about their situation. I want to know everything about their investments. And if I was proposing anything, I want to make sure that I could answer every single question that they had. So high fact finder, high researcher. What I was low in is follow through. So I'm the guy that gets a lot of ideas, but when it actually starts to like implement these ideas and it actually turns into work, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh crap, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and that doesn't mean that I can't push through and get it done because I do, but there are definitely those times where like there had a lot of projects where I'd get like 60% done, 70% mm -hmm. done, and then I would go and start something else. Mm -hmm. And I might come back and finish it or it would just sit there and not get finished. So when I started hiring people, you know, like this is one of the things you could do with HR with like to avoid HR conflicts is like you could take the personality test. And then, so my first office manager I hired, they were high follow through, high on building systems, low quick starts, research that that was probably good. So basically what I'm sharing is like, I learned how I was wired mm -hmm. and I and I could see it for what it was. So that meant one of the things I would get into trouble with being a high quick start is Seth gives me a call and has this great business idea and opportunity. I really like Seth. This sounds great. Yes, I'm going to do it. I am in without asking a lot of qualifying questions. Like how much time is this going to take? Mm -hmm. What do you need from me? How much money will this take? Is there any other question? Like just stuff like that, right? I would just get so excited that I would often say yes to a lot of things and then realize, oh crap, I, I overcommitted myself. Mm -hmm. So I had to go back and backtrack and just say, I'm I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have said yes. So I've just learned through all this, like when a great, amazing opportunity comes up, I'm like, man, thank you for bringing this to me. Sounds awesome, let me think about it and I'll get back and let me think about it. And that is me just reminding myself, what am I working on right now? What are my current goals? What are my current obligations? A lot of time in prayer, just like, all right, God, show me, th does this make sense for me right now? Mm -hmm. Just basically just to hit pause, you know, tap on the brakes just a little bit before I get uh, myself into situations. And it still happens. Like there's still times I, I find myself like, but compared to how it used to be, oh man, it, it was impossible for me to say no. Yeah. Like no was, that was death. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> These are some of the things that I've learned Mm -hmm. by investing in myself. So one of the ways of when you understand how you're wired, and how you operate, I mean, it's just a way that you talk about accelerating your income because you're not finding yourself in a situation you shouldn't be in and you're putting yourself in situations that are going to set yourself best for success. Yeah, yeah that, that Colby is very insightful. It's probably worth everybody taking that at some point just to know themselves a little bit better. But I know a cool thing that they have if you're an employer is you can set up a profile for the person you're hiring. Like, I know that this mm -hmm. person will need to be good at this. So you sort of create the picture perfect image of like, if they could be perfect, they would look like this and have them take it. It'll actually give them like a letter grade based on how close they came. <clears throat> like they mm -hmm. scored an A or a B or a C or they failed. Like, do not hire them for this if that's really what you need. And uh, I don't know, I just thought that was a creative way to use it kind of, I don't know, backwards or however you want to say that for somebody else that you're hiring. Yeah. There's also yeah, a, no, that, a lot of wonder. It helped out so much. Yeah. Everybody I hired, they always did the Colby. Mm -hmm. Even though we'll, we'll say 
this for another day, even though I've had some bad partnerships, but initially like I had them take the Colby just so that I could understand how they were wired, mm -hmm. you know? So when they came to me with this amazing idea, I'm like, Ooh, wait, I'm talking to myself right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this sounds really good, but recognizing that they're a high quick start like myself, they can get easily excited. So helping me kind of reset my expectations yeah. on certain things. So it, it's just helped so much. Yeah. Do you know who Perry Marshall is? 8020? Yes. Yep. 8020 sales and marketing. Yeah. So we had him on the podcast a couple of years ago and he's got a similar thing to the Colby test, but it's called the marketing DNA test where it's a very similar process. Even like the output looks pretty similar, but it's focused on marketing. Like who are you as a marketer? Like are you the kind of person who just get up in front of a stage and wing it and it's going to come out great? Or are you the kind of person who you need to like prepare and really think it through and, you know, just practice again and again and then get up on stage. And because you practice so much, it's going to be even better than a person who's good at winging it. Just kind of understanding like, where do you excel in different ways? But that's another good one. That's at least from the marketing angle. Good to understand who you are.